if I was going to run for president. I would take no counsel except from my father. Whatever God wanted me to do, I would do. I feel, um, <clears throat> to put it softly, your thoughts for the day don't dictate forever. They don't dictate what's going to happen with your children. They don't dictate what's going to happen for you. Seeing as that is a seemingly impossibility based on my existence and everything that I've learned, even trying to take over my own church. <clears throat> well, what's the point? Leave you alone. That's one path. Try and help you. There's a second. You fight me every time I try and help you. So, on one path, I walk alone. I don't fight with many people because I don't reveal myself. I walk with a hoodie and I just walk through things. Dealing with you guys, we fight over everything. I suppose that's some type of love arrangement. I don't know. But from what I've seen, when I prevail, and it is a fight, and I defeat you in your rebellion, you say thank you. I think you're a mess. I think democracy failed. I think socialism would have been the best bet, but you guys will never allow that, so... I think that you have issues that your government cannot solve. Your issues are human issues. You have issues with sin. But no one's defined sin for you. I feel you're lost and you do incredibly stupid things that sometimes if it doesn't kill you, um, I have no idea why you did it, but you just, you'll do it anyway. I feel to not be a person that speaks down to you. Because I feel that you were created to have a certain freedom and enjoy your life. I feel at this moment, which is probably why I'm stepping in. You need help. And I also think, do I have the answers? I do, for you individually, to um, help you as a global, for some reason, organization of rebellious people that just want to fight, and then I'd say, put on the uniform. Fight for your country. If you're not willing to do that, then shut the fuck up. I feel um, that I'm not here to be your president, and I'm not here to bring peace. I was here to take care of my church, and that's it. But there is scripture that many haven't read that talks about, you will be their saviors. That was my entire plan. You'll be your family's savior. It will give you the respect and admiration 
that you've desired all your life. I feel without God's strength, you're not going to do much. I do feel that way. I don't know how to campaign or talk to you without mentioning God because to me there's no point. It's a, a superficial, myopic, short-term vision of a man trying to be great, and I'm not that. Because it doesn't make sense. If God knows everything, why wouldn't you consult him? I feel that this country was founded on God, and it's lost its way. But God is faithful. I feel that you don't really care about the things you talk about. The only reason certain people are processing is because they had nothing else to do and they want to expel this and be a part of something. Then be a part of something that's building something good. What pulls me back and forth will define good. It doesn't pull me. You pull me. I feel that all of you should be ashamed of yourselves. To the point I can't even look at you. And when you get to heaven, I'll be the same way. Because you won't get to heaven. I also feel... Um, this should not be a message of fear. You should fear God. I definitely would. Because your menial existence here and everything you've accomplished doesn't mean anything to God or in heaven. Our rules and what's valuable as far as people and things you have done overshadows pieces of paper that you've earned. I feel that if you took the safe way and got yourself a nice house, a good job, a car that emits carbon dioxide, which makes sense at all that you guys would do this, <clears throat> and you put on a nice pretty mask, because I said you had to, because you're thieves, I feel... Um, And you got your reward. Expect nothing else. Worry about your next life, which you never do. I feel that you should not be worried about heaven as far as dying and going to heaven. You should be more concerned with you can live in heaven on earth. It doesn't matter what you have. What is the profit of man to gain the entire world but lose his own soul? So it... To me, it's like talking to a wall that won't listen. So the way I see it, I'm not running for president. I'm not your prince of peace. I'm king. And I don't need your permission. I don't need your accreditation. And I do not need your endorsement. I don't have to lobby. I was born this way. I was born to be this. And this is who I am. I'm offering you my words. To help you. Because you need my help. And that is called salvation. And I've already demonstrated it. And I'm not going to do it again. <clears throat> so what's going to happen? You will either come under my kingdom and my rule.
or you will do it yourself. And you will quickly find that you cannot. And in that moment, what you guys are used to is me saving you because I've saved you 18 billion times. This time, I am going to let you stay there. Because that is what you chose. Because you don't know enough scripture to know that door will be closed when the bridegroom shows up. And those that were not prepared The five virgins told them, <clears throat> you're not taking our oil, go get your own. And then the bridegroom showed up and he closed the door and they went and tried to get their oil. And when they came back, that door was closed. And they said, let us in. And Jesus said, no. So scripture will be fulfilled regardless of how you feel about it, and it will show you how powerless you truly are. I'm not here to give you all the answers. You already have the answer. You rejected it. It was the answer the entire time. So, <clears throat> what I have decided was to endorse a certain country because I made a covenant with the country. And I always keep my covenants. And this was set into motion long before I was born. <clears throat> so you can do whatever you want. And I'm tired of people acting like I'm controlling them or something like that. It was called Lord of Your Life so that I could be a good father, set you apart, protect you, and make sure you were safe. You see it simply because you were born with the seed of rebellion, which is every child. And you decided you would never grow up. There is a way to grow up in heaven. And there's a way to grow up down here. You decided to grow up down here. So you learned what you learned. And you got your scars. And none of it means a thing. So, <clears throat> the way I look at it. Especially in this country. You have houses. I give you a card with food stamps. I've paid you. More money than you've ever had in your life. What did you do with it? Did you use it for my glory? Didn't I make that agreement? I was going to pay you for your work. Because you guys bitched every single day about money. And that's what you care about. Scripture says the love of money is the root of all evil and you just fell right into that trap. Do you want to know what the mark of the beast is? You probably took it. It was a stimulus. So, <clears throat> you know, Mark, 2,000 years ago, I have to explain this to you like your children. 2,000 years ago, <clears throat> A mark was a denotion of money and it had a certain person's face on it that you weren't supposed to take and how many times the tribulation has happened and different tribulations at different levels. And then the great earthquake was, you know, the awakening, the shaking that's happened. It was a spiritual earthquake. Like I have to talk to you like you're five. If you can even understand English sometimes, because you just argue with me back and forth. So, <clears throat> you guys that decided to betray your Lord Jesus Christ have your comfortable lives. 
have tried to save a lukewarm Christian, you cannot be saved. Or at least I know why I spew you out of my mouth. Um, and no one can say you're not a good God and you need to try and, like, no, I understand. You're going to have that moment of shame, especially if you fell away. And scripture says many would fall away in his day. But he'll come back. You guys will be asleep, falling away. And there's so much. If you don't know scripture, I don't know how to talk to you on um, things that actually matter. Because the world doesn't. It's temporary. And all of us real Christians, we already knew that. So... not your president. I endorse my country. I'll back it. I'm your king. I love you.